Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my video. All right, so I just want to give you guys a little update on the issue that I had with my car a couple days ago. So I had no issues at all with this car since I bought it. And we're talking about maybe like for the last two years, no issues whatsoever. I had to change the battery at one point, but that was it. Outside of that, normal upkeep, change the brakes, change the oil. Outside of that, no issues. Until a couple days ago, I, I drove it normally for the whole entire day, right? No problems whatsoever went and pretty much did shopping did my usual thing and parked it at a McDonald's went and got a couple of things and when I came back out and tried to start it which is like took me about 15 minutes to order that all that stuff and try to start it and nothing it wouldn't start at all so I was thinking to myself, okay, uh, maybe it's something that's something that I could fix on the spot. So I turned on the headlights just to see how bright the headlights were. And the headlights were pretty bright. So at that point, I assumed it's probably not the battery it would crank it's a strong crank it wasn't a weak crank it was a strong crank but it would not it wouldn't turn over it, it wouldn't run so I was thinking to myself that's kind of odd you know because I it came out of nowhere it wasn't like it was an issue that I had previously of, of an instance of an issue I had previously and just got progressively worse wasn't that kind of situation it just out no out of the blue it was a crank no start problem so i was thinking to myself okay i did change the battery let's see if it could maybe it's the battery that's causing it for whatever reason everything worked the headlights worked it cranked it wasn't even a soft crank it was a a strong crank strong cranks so I opened the hood up and I was looking inside the hood just to around the battery area just to see whether there's any kind of corrosion at all. And I, I didn't think it was the battery. 100% did not think it was the battery, but I checked it anyway just to see whether there's any kind of corrosion. There was no corrosion. It was clean. It was tight. The <clears throat> negative line that connects to the frame I made sure to see check that just to make sure that it's connected it's free of corrosion etc etc and and it was free of corrosion so I was thinking to myself what else could it be now I didn't see I didn't remember I, I, I'm pretty sure there was not a check engine light previous to that there's not a check engine light and I have one of these I have one of these OBD2 readers that I bought for $19 at Walmart plugged it in just to see whether there was a code for anything at all ran it it ran through everything there was no codes all the monitors were good clear so I was thinking to myself all right so good thing because it's probably nothing having to do with any of the sensors and there's a lot of them any of the sensors that's connected to the car that could be causing it crankshaft camshaft mass shaft flow sensor whatever you have all right probably not one of those things because if any of those things had an issue it would cause 
a crank no start issue however it would also generate a code in the check engine light would show on the dash all right so at that point i was happy that it wasn't any of those things so i was thinking to myself all right so we can clear out a lot of different components you can clear out a whole lot of components i was thinking to myself also maybe it's the fuse maybe it's the fuse that's causing it a fuse so i looked at the fuse box just to make sure that all the fuses were good all the fuses you know just to see whether check to see whether any there was a burnt smell any 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 kind of burnt discoloring on top of the fuses and didn't actually see anything as far as discoloration or anything like that's concerned so um I didn't have a fuse tester on me. Probably been best if I had a fuse tester just to make sure. Because just from eyesight alone, I could have missed a couple of things. But I checked that off the list as far as that's concerned. And so the situ whole situation, I was thinking, maybe it's the fuel pump, right? Maybe it's the fuel system. If I had some starter fluid, I could spray some starter fluid into the intake and then try to start it and see... You know, if it started up, I knew it was a few few issue, but I didn't have any starting fluid, starter fluid on me. So I was thinking to myself, okay, that's fine. Let's uh, let's troubleshoot this a little bit more. Now, normally, just to figure out whether it was the fuel pump that was causing this, um, I would you would have somebody stand outside just to listen to see whether there's any kind of buzzing, motorized sound. You could you would put you would have the car to the on position which is the on position is the position for the crank which where the fuel pump will prime the fuel system to get it into the intakes injectors and and I didn't have another person with me to check it out to actually listen to see and that doesn't actually work too well sometimes it kind of depends on whether fuel pump is so I was thinking to myself all right so here's what we're gonna do here's what we're gonna do <clears throat> all right at that point I was like I'm gonna put out all the put up all the windows it was kind of hot but yeah I, I had to do that anyway just to just to see if I could test it out put up all the windows turn everything off the blow motor the radio etc everything got turned off all right, and then I put the car into on position, see if I could hear some kind of whizzing motorized sound. Did that, tried it a couple of times, couldn't actually make out whether there was a sound or not. Couldn't make it out. All right, at that point, I was thinking to myself, what else could cause this problem? What else could cause this problem? And I was thinking, to my, I was looking at. I was looking at my key fob and I was thinking to myself, <clears throat> you know what? I never changed the battery on the key fob. And I've had an issue like this previously with another car, uh, which was three, four years ago, which had this issue and it turned out to be the key fob battery where the key fob battery was so low that I wasn't able to get it to turn on well it, it would crank but it wouldn't turn over so I was like you know what there's a there was a target actually there was a Walgreens in that little strip mall so I, went to, I, I took the battery out of the remote went to a Walgreens I got a battery popped it in and I was crossing my fingers on this because this is the easiest fix this is the easiest fix for me right the battery is like six bucks put the battery in and then try to start it and guess what guys boom it cranked up it cranked up and it ran and I've had no issues ever since. Well, ever since, meaning like two or three days ago. So, that was the fix for it. 
it could have been a whole it could have been something else but that was that was an easy fix all right i just want to let you guys know you guys have this issue check that out it could very well be your key fob battery that's causing uh causing a crank no start issue particularly a crank no start issue because a lot of people actually you know they don't actually think that this is a component in the car itself that's causing the issue and a lot of times it's the easiest fixes the easiest the most simplest things that's causing the issue that you don't know about that's not actually that's not actually in the car i mean the key fob is connected to the car but it's not actually a component that's inside the, a mechanical component inside a car electrical component inside a car it kind of is but you guys know what i mean anyway um hope that this has helped you guys out if you guys have any of your own personal experiences definitely leave a comment in the comment section please subscribe please give me a thumbs up all that good stuff for guys take care